Welcome to the Moore Center Community Spotlight. I'm your host, Teresa Dinesi. One of my favorite parts of this program is being able to introduce to you the people that work behind the scenes at the Moore Center. And today we have two women joining us, Celia Calkins and Shauna Bourgeois. Great, great last name. Thank you. <laughs> um, Celia, we'll start with you. Welcome, ladies. Uh, you're the Director of Case Management at the Moore Center. What does that entail in that, that role? Well, uh, I'm the director of case management, and we provide case management to the individuals at the Moore Center who are adults um, eight, over age 21. And um, case management really is, we're the advocates for the individuals, and um, we write the annual service agreement and um, oversee their services and make sure that they're getting the services that really match their needs. Mm -hmm. And um, So these are men and women who have developmental disabilities. That's correct, mm -hmm. right. And also um, with brain injury as well. Sure. So um, they're the adults who um, are receiving services. Mm -hmm. So they either have day and residential services, like some of the other interviews that you've done. Um, as well as some PDMS, Participant Directed and Managed Services, where somebody might live at home with their family, and um, then the case manager will help coordinate their services and make sure that they're receiving the services that they need to really be successful and sure. independent as possible. Great. Um, and Shauna, you're the lead case manager yes. at the Moore Center. Um, what does that involve in, in your in your position? Um, so I carry a smaller caseload than the um, rest of the case managers, and I do some um, case management functions. I also am responsible for taking on any enhancements, which means that an individual who is currently in services may need more services, may need extra services. So what I do is I take their um, information which would be um, like a service budget and proposal I review that and I send that off to our um, uppers who do the final review um, I also am responsible for over not overseeing excuse me but um, reviewing service agreements for some of the case managers and just um, general support to the management team and, mm -hmm. and things along those lines so for those who are not sure what a case manager does or what's mm -hmm. involved with that is someone you know what what typically does that involve um, Another name for us is service coordinator, which may be helpful um, to kind of put into perspective. There's a lot that we do. Um, again, going off of the service coordinator title, we help coordinate services that may be needed, that may already be in place. Um, we assist with the oversight of our vendor partners, um, ensuring that you know their needs are met and that their service plans are being followed and anything above and beyond that they may need um, in the moment, you know, we can look into and, and connect them with local resources and, mm -hmm. and community um, partners and things like that. Mm -hmm. why, is, why is that role so important with human services? What, what is something that, you know, really stands out in terms of the need that's out there? Um, as far as there's a lot of things that we can assist with, but it is very important because um, in terms of it takes a village, there's a lot of resources out there that um, we all don't know about, the individuals right. may not know, we may not know. So when we partner with families, um, individuals, vendors, things like that, we can all sort of learn from one another and we can sort of bridge where things are needed. We are the funding source for these for these folks. So a lot of times to get to that point, you need to come through us so that we can connect you where it needs to go and, and work on things at, at that point. So, um, so there's a, a sort of like a village kind of puts, puts together with the families and the clients all mm -hmm. together. Yes. Right. How long have you both been with the Moore Center, Celia? I've been there since 1992. I actually left for a small period of time in, for about two years, but I came back just because my heart was really in case management. Um, I had started actually as a DSP for just a year or so. But a then direct I, support professional? Yes. Wonderful. Yeah. And then I, I moved up into the case management position, and I just loved it. I loved advocating and seeing the growth uh, with the individuals that we serve. It's it's definitely a behind the scenes kind of role where you, you know, get to see somebody um, in their team sort of work towards certain goals. And then you come together and you're able to look and just see the growth mm -hmm. over over time. And it's, it's really amazing um, to be able to be part of that. And, you know, it we don't necessarily get all of you know the the fame and glory, but we really are. Um, it's an exciting part of the team, and and to see people grow is just it's so rewarding. So it's a great job. Wonderful. And Shauna, yeah. how long have you been with the Moore Center? Um, it'll be nine years in September. I started in two thousand and ten. Um, Wonderful. And I, yeah, I was really lucky to get on board with this department. I've been um, with them since the beginning when I started. It so. seems like there's a lot of growth and, and advancement for, mm -hmm. for folks that join. Um, are there any open positions currently in case management? 
I think we actually may have filled um, our positions, but I mm-hmm. think we do have some people like who are, well, we have a lot of people who are in school and mm-hmm. are looking to grow and advance mm-hmm. and really stay in the field. Mm-hmm. So we are, I think we're still currently, um, we're just keeping our ad in just because sure. we, we mm-hmm. know that you know, we'll have people who are moving up. It's really exciting. Right. We're very supportive of people's growth. Wonderful. And we've actually had people stay in the agency and grow within the agency. And it's, it's from entry level all the way yeah. up to vice presidents, actually. Yes. It's really, it's quite remarkable some yeah. of the, yeah. the growth opportunities there. Yeah. That's wonderful. How do your positions interact or intersect? Um, well, Celia is my direct supervisor. Mm-hmm. So, um, I'm able to sort of self-direct a lot, and so I funnel things through that I'm, I'm really knowledgeable about, and I know what I'm doing, mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess to put it bluntly. Um, any questions, concerns, things like that, I obviously you know run through Celia, but um, things above and beyond my position, we, we work together on and, yeah. <clears throat> and brainstorm. And Well, as we wrap up, what is the best parts of your job, and what's the best thing about working for the Moore Center? Yeah. Celia? I think that the best part of my job is to be able to say when, well, those times where we see somebody who, you know, maybe not, doesn't have all the, the services that they need or they're struggling and then we see them really, really grow, like they get a job and, and maybe they need fewer services mm-hmm. because we've done such a great job that it's actually, you know, it's a success story when, when somebody has, you know, we've advocated for more funding and more more services around them and suddenly they've gotten to this point where they they no longer need all of that help and they're just out there and just living a really great life and it's pretty exciting to be mm-hmm. part of that That's wonderful yeah Shauna yeah I mean I agree along this along the same lines and it's um, very rewarding to see not only the services benefit the individual but really the families <clears throat> a lot of times they come to us really in crisis um, because the the care may be too much or things are just getting overwhelmed a overwhelmed yeah. um, and what we can provide for them, you, you see that <clears throat> across the board with them and their family, and, it, and it's a really rewarding um, part of the job. Wonderful. Well, Celia and Shauna, thank you so thank much you. for joining us today and for all that you do in your role with the Moore Center. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Teresa Dinesi. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. The Moore Center is a nonprofit statewide organization with a legacy of serving others for over 60 years. We provide compassionate, high-quality, cost-effective services to people of all ages, from early intervention services for children, to programs and services for adults with developmental disabilities, to home care services for seniors wishing to remain independent in their own homes. We also provide training for the human services workforce. To learn more about this award-winning nonprofit organization and its rich history of creating opportunities for a good life, please visit us at morecenter.org.